What's that? Your girlfriend does? Well, that just shouldn't make you smoke, sir. I care about you, man. God cares about you more. He died, he died for you. I, I know the shame that all that brings, man. I can't hardly hear you, man. Could you tell, come talk to me? You don't have to, though. I mean, the Bible, the Bible says that it's appointed for man to die once. And after this, the judgment. I mean, I'm not out here just to show off what I'm wearing, man. I'm just out here to be a light, man. I'm trying to get people to wake up. The Bible says that. Awake out of your sleep, because your salvation draws nearer than when you first believed. And to cast off the works of darkness and put on the, work, the armor of light. And I'm going to tell you, man, I, that stuff, man, is very strong, man. It's the persuasion of the world and the devil. The devil wants you to please your flesh. But God gives us power when we're submitted to him. Hold on a second. What's that, sir? Wow. You see this, this cigarette that I'm smoking? Yeah. It makes me more crazy than anything else. I mean, you know these things because it, it influences... Yeah, these things right here make me crazy. Can you just drop and put it... Can you, are you a Christian, first off? Do you think you are? No. Well... Not really. I have a problem with death. I have a problem with dying. Well, right. Everybody should have a problem with that. Because, you know, God says that the wages of sin is death. But what's the other part of that verse, sir? There's hope, man. I don't feel forgiven for what I've done. Why not? Us. You haven't forsaken it? Have you turned from your sin, man, or you can continue to doing it? See, you're continuing to smoke. But it was a female. Right. I understand the strong pers persuasions with females. That's why God made marriage. Man, I know, man. I was so afraid of all that stuff because I had no knowledge of truth. But see, I started to fear God. That caused a fear. Do you have fear, man? Do you have fear? Or are you proud? Actually, I like people. I like sinners. You like them? Well, why don't you tell them the truth, then? You should love them. Loving them is telling them the truth. Well, I mean, if you're the same as the sinners... Look, in the Bible, it says, when I am weak, what are you weekend? It says the poor in spirit. But, so now, actually, I was blessed with the girl. If you read in the book of James, James chapter 1, verse 12, have you ever read it? Yeah. Blessed is the man who endureth temptation. For you're not enduring is. temptation. Huh? You're not enduring temptation. You just, you're pulling out another cigarette, aren't you, or no? Yeah, but I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about being celibate. I'm talking about being tempted. Jesus was tempted in all manner. So don't just talk about celibacy, but all manner. But he was found without sin. That made him the sacrifice for our sin. Now, once you become born I'm again. I'm trying to be celibate. I think celibacy is the most important thing for me. Don't make a law for yourself. I'm trying to lay down my life for my girlfriend. She's yeah. not with me anymore. I, I don't know I your name. Never, I should have never even been with her. She already had a kid by somebody else. I, I think she was trying to get me in trouble. Look, my name's Joe, man, so you know my name. But I care about you. I came out here, man. Maybe the Lord just appointed this time right now, man, for you to be shaken. Shaken. You need to be rebuked, man. And I mean, I'm not trying to judge you by appearance, but you know your heart. God knows the heart. He tests your heart. And right now, it looks like you're just, you've submitted smoking cigarettes which I know what that does for you I used to do it and don't don't believe dude don't believe the lie man that no matter what you do you're still gonna inherit the kingdom the Bible talks about when God returns of Jesus Christ he's gonna judge the world in righteousness he's gonna give everyone according to their works now I'm not saying I'm saved by my works I'm not 
We're saved by grace through faith, Ephesians 2 says, and it's not of ourselves, it's a gift of God. Not of works, lest any man should boast. Yeah, but nobody knows what it's like when you're dying. Well, the Bible says you got to die, and Jesus said, deny yourself, take up your cross, and follow me. I'm scared to die. Right, that's what freedom is in Christ. You no longer fear death. No longer. I think really ultimately it's the fear of suffering or pain. It's not necessarily death, but people should be afraid to die. It's the fear of hell though. Exactly. I'm scared of hell. Yeah, man. That you should be. That's a good fear to have. But listen, listen, you should more so be mourning because you're not pleasing God. You don't want God to be ashamed of you and say, depart from me. Basically, you. God says that I'm just allowed to do whatever I want, basically. No, that's not, that's not true. God, because God loves sinners, basically. No. The Bible says in I Psalm... I think God loves the people who don't know who he is. Well, he's, he's given everyone a conscience. He's given everyone the ability to know him. But the Bible says in Romans that they deny him because of their unrighteousness. And that they know there's a God. They know the wrath of God because in their ungodliness and unrighteousness, his, his, he is revealed. They know. What do you mean? And God's wrath. When judgment comes, when things happen on this earth, things happen to us, if you're in sin, you know the wrath of God. It's, it's, you, know, you know the grace of God too. But we have to the submit. Light, the sun. We have to submit to Him. Sun. So what's keeping you back, man? You don't have to be a sinner. The Bible says this, that God's angry with the sinners every day. So if you're a sinner, he's angry with you, sir. I don't want him to be angry with you. God's not willing that any should perish, but that all would come to repentance. You've never truly repented, because if you did, you would desire to please God and obey his word, keep his word, and obey his commands. God's the Almighty. He is a spirit. I think he's a woman. He's a spirit. He's a spirit. And you have, you're a temple. You're, I'm a temple. And you're defiling your temple right now. And I don't, I'm not saying any of the other things that you already know about. And God, God's not going to hear your prayers unless you... Well, I know that he doesn't want me to be a drunkard. He wants you to turn from all sin. These cigarettes don't really, they're not really that bad for me, really. I just kind of like smoking. That's, you've never had the revelation of God, then. These cigarettes don't give me high or anything. They do do something to you. Well, actually, they cut oxygen out from your brain. Well. How about this? Put them down and walk away for two or three days, see what, what happens to I've you. I've actually been trying to quit for the past couple That's weeks. not going to save you, though. I mean, I'm just, you know, I can give you all types of tips to help you exactly, in this life. Exactly, exactly. It's not going to save me from death. But Jesus that's can. That's why I have a problem. That's why I have trouble. Jesus can. That's why I'm having trouble quitting, because I'm trying to be healthy, but then he's just going to kill me. You need to repent. And well, you know what repentance is? It's to turn away from it. Look. All your sin, every sin that comes to your mind that you're doing, start turning from them. But you can't turn from them if you've already done it. Right. Right. That's what makes us not willing to stand before God, not able to stand before God in our sin. When people get the knowledge of the truth in you know, Jesus. Some of us don't know what sin is. Everyone knows what it is. Like that verse says in Romans, the wrath of God is revealed from heaven against all ungodliness and unrighteousness. All tribe, nations, and tongue understand right and wrong. They all understand. They all do. If somebody comes up against you and you're going to defend yourself. You know it's wrong for them to do it. Same vice versa. You know it. You're going to protect yourself. Right? I'm not that tough. Well, I'm just saying that they all know, man. You know? The Bible, man, sir, it says to cleanse your hands, sinner. It says to purify your heart, double minded. It <laughs> says to lament, mourn, and weep. Let your laughter be turned to mourning and your joy to gloom. The Bible says, humble yourself in the sight of the Lord. He'll lift you up. You got to resist the devil. 
the devil is what's behind. You've, 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 you've allowed the devil to purchase you because of your sin. So therefore, God's well, going to repent of all your sin, man. Put your faith in Jesus Christ, man. And walk in a way that's worthy of his calling, man. you got to examine your life, man. I had to do it. I have to do it daily. And you can't just follow traditions of men, man. I'm not telling you to even continue to go to church, man. You have to go through... The, the hard thing is to resist the devil, man, once you're, he's not going to just leave you easily. But see, when you walk by faith, you'll not fulfill the lust of the flesh, the Bible promises, and that God will make you a new creation, sir. I'm thankful that I was with Jennifer, though, my ex-girlfriend. I think I'm going to get her name tattooed on me. Yeah, you are. That does nothing for you with God, man. You're, you're missing it. You're missing it. You need to wake up. You need to wake up. Because the sign's correct, sir. I mean, I hope you remember it. You know it. The Bible says that how shall we escape? How shall we escape? Once you know the way of truth, but you're hearing it right now. And you're denying it. And if I abstain from all bad things and stuff, right. maybe through me she'll see the light when she dies. She won't go to darkness, she'll see the light through me. No, you can't. The Bible talks about I believe that. to not have fellowship with the unfruitful works of darkness, but rather expose them. You got to expose her through the Word of God. You got to get right first. You got to turn from your sin, man, and get right. You know, man, I'm out here for you, man. God's pleading through me to you to be reconciled to God. What do you think God is? What's that? What do you think God is? I already told you, He's the Spirit. Spirit. He's the creator of heaven and earth. He's from the beginning. He's God. We cause death. We turn from Him. Light, sun. Jesus is the way, the truth, and the light. And the light of the world. Sun. Not with you, with the hell. Listen to it, man. You want God to really reveal Himself to you, you got to seek Him. The Bible says to knock, it shall be open. Ask. Seek and you shall find. You need to repent need it. You may, you may, you may cost you a lot. It, it will. It costs you everything. But look what it cost God. His only begotten Son who never sinned. Who came to teach us the way that we need to go. And He died for us. I'm, I'm curious why you laugh. I mean, you think I'm lying to you? Am I lying to you? Well, you should... Seek it out in the Word, man, in the Bible. Well, I live by one verse. That's James chapter 1, verse 12. Blessed is the man who endures temptation, for when he has approved to receive the crown of life, which the Lord has promised. But you're not doing it. It's the Son. You're not doing it. You're not enduring temptation. Celibacy. celibacy is the most important thing. A denying of yourself is the most important thing. Yeah. Deny yourself. Don't commit adultery. And also stay Those are God's commands, man. He wants you to repent, man. I hope you do, man. I hope this word lasts. It's doing something. I think that God hates an adulterous heart. God's not willing that you perish, sir. I think, I think You're going to perish in your self-made law and your self keeping of what you think is right. The Bible says there's a way that seems right to a man. I think my girlfriend is actually trying to get me in trouble with her family. But the end is the way of death. I think she was a troublemaker. What's that? I think my girlfriend was a troublemaker trying to get me killed by her family. 
I don't know your girlfriend. She had, she went out, she came, she had skulls on her sweatshirt. Yeah. You need to fear God, man, not your girlfriend. I fear her family. I fear her family. God's going to judge your life, man. I fear the people that she knows. You need to repent. You need to repent. Because you're a sinner. If anybody's a sinner, they're on their way to hell. All sinners go to hell. There's not one sinner in heaven. Jesus was the sinless one. He's at the right hand of the Father. He can clothe us in righteousness. All sinners go to hell. If your testimony is I'm a sinner, no, you're on your way to hell, and I want to warn you. God loves Please, read in the Word of God to see if these things I'm saying is true. God because loves. one sin keeps you out of heaven, and one sin damns you to hell. God one. It doesn't say that in the Bible. He demonstrated His love for us that while we were sinners, Christ died for us. So you cannot live in sin, which most churches this day teach that. You can never be free from sin. But see, the church of the firstborn from the dead, Jesus Christ, as the Savior and the testator, the testimony of Jesus Christ, this is the spirit of prophecy, is that Jesus can free you from your sin, sir. You have to show, you have to submit and yield and turn from your oh, sin. That is what repentance is, sir. I can't say it strong enough. I want you to be saved, sir. I do. I want you to be saved. You can be saved from your sin. You've got to put that stuff away from you. Cast it off, man. Put the, all of it. Your thoughts about what you think's right and what the Word says. Find out in the Word, man. Read God's Word, man. I'm serious, man. There's no time to waste.